Hi, my name is Dr. John Edwards. I am a chiropractor in Cape Coral, Florida, who specializes in working with pregnant women. And I'm making this video for people who have questions about emerging theories on COVID-19. This virus, COVID-19, is a new virus. It has mostly a, um, a backbone, if you look at the structure of it, of an animal, the, a bat virus that, that is shared with it. And then it also has a couple other unique considerations that make the little spikes in the picture if those of you most of us have seen the picture of this virus under electron scanning microscopes um, it, these little spikes actually will lock into a, a cell it's a type of lung cell and its little docking station is a really important discovery so that docking station is something that usually goes for something they call the ace2 enzyme ACE2 is the angiotensin converting enzyme, the second version of it. Um, there is an ACE1, and both of those are both very important for helping regulate our blood pressure. If you have plenty of ACE2 circulating around in your system, then the little docking stations that you have inside of your body for ACE2 get filled by ACE2. If, however, you don't have a whole lot of it floating around in your body, then that leaves little doorways open for COVID-19 to lock into your cells and begin their process of cellular destruction. So one of the theories that's emerging is that if we can increase the amount of ACE2 in someone's body, then that may help protect them against COVID-19. Induction of ACE2 can happen through some pretty interesting ways. Way number one, is that estrogen seems to induce ACE2. Here's the other big thing that has to do with estrogen and women. So one of the concerns is that prior coronaviruses seem to have an impact on pregnant women in their first trimester. And so some of the at-risk population that they're concerned about is uh, pregnancy. I, as a chiropractor, my, the special focus of my practice is perinatal care. I'm actually one of the recognized research experts in our profession for perinatal care. I teach uh, perinatal care techniques around the world to other chiropractors. This is my jam. And this really hit home as I started reading the research that one of the amazing things about the human body when we're pregnant, if you think about it for a second, you not only have one person's blood volume, but then you have a second person's blood volume to regulate. And that should, that increase in volume should increase your blood pressure. But... The placenta's job is to actually help produce more ACE2. And so if you are having a general run-of-the-mill pregnancy and your body is working the way that it should be, completely physiologically normally, you should have plenty of ACE2 floating in your system, which should give you a level of protection. However, and this is a really big concern, if you have preeclampsia, there has been a correlation with preeclampsia and a lack of ACE2 production. If you have preeclampsia, there is a good consideration here for you to do the things that people are suggesting. Social distancing, staying at home. These are really good ideas for you. Um, but there may be some hope. The scaffold that estrogen builds itself on, along with all the sex hormones, progesterone, testosterone, a lot of the thyroid hormones, is vitamin D. Vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin, is a, a hormone that is the base molecule for a lot of these. And I started wondering if there was any research that suggested a correlation between vitamin D levels with ACE2. It turns out there is. There are a couple uh, animal studies that I saw, and also I was curious, well, hey, has anybody looked at this in relationship to uh, preeclampsia and pregnancy? Yep, actually, there, there has actually been a couple of reviews on vitamin D supplementation and uh, the impact of that on preeclampsia. Uh, some of them did suggest that, hey, listen, this is something that can help upregulate ACE2. What we want to find out is if there is a correlation between D you know, vitamin D levels inside your blood and susceptibility to COVID-19. Uh, that is stuff that's going to be emerging research. You're going to start hearing more about these ACE2 receptors vitamin D testing, that's gonna be my hypothesis. Um, there are a lot of people who've been writing in to a very good article in the New England Journal of Medicine as commentary from around the world saying, hey, why don't we give vitamin D a shot here? Um, the sunshine vitamin is free 
And if this can go into you know, late spring, this may be really, really helpful for us. Uh, the weather's great down here. Having a lot of people outside would be a really great thing if this could be potentially protective against COVID-19. Uh, this is an emergent story. Um, I'm re really curious to follow it. I will continue to do the, the things I can for my practice to help keep my people healthy and safe as well. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I give these videos all the time. Subscribe here on YouTube. Um, make sure you're following the, the Facebook page, Mama's Chiropractic. And if you have uh, questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll go ahead and cite a couple of the sources that I, I'm following right now. Um, you know, context is important for numbers, and I like I like being able to provide that. So if that's the kind of information you're looking for, make sure you subscribe. I'll be continuing to do this uh, over the next you know, several weeks. I, I, I stay up, I, I read, I get up early, I read, and I try to deliver this information to people.